so many people believe that minimalism is a restrictive lifestyle. And from my experience over the past four years, it's completely the opposite. Everyone's living a different life. We live in different climates. We have different family lifestyles, different homes, different jobs. And because of that, we all have different priorities. Today, I'm gonna to share with you a list of the essentials that I buy as a minimalist repeatedly, that I use the most repeatedly. And I want to not only show you that it's okay for us to have different priorities, but minimalism is not restrictive. It's reducing clutter, living intentionally, so that there's room, there's more room for the things that matter. Here's my list of things, and it's, you know, from home to supplements to health, things that add to my life. That is my list right here. And they're things you have to buy. At the end, I'll share some things that are completely free, but I do so many declutters and get rid of this and I don't buy this. I wanna share with you what I actually do buy and what I bring into my life. Miscellaneous things in the home. I have this JBL speaker that my husband actually won at a golf tournament, I believe, and it is the best speaker we have owned. Why? Because it's portable, I can put it in any room, it's super loud, it's very clear, and like we've owned Sonos, we've owned the nice speakers, but this is so simple. I can put it in a drawer, I can put it away. And if anyone's in the market for a good home speaker, I would shout out this guy from the rooftops. Number two, another miscellaneous item in my home is our under the sink Epic water filters, water filter system. It's called the Epic Shield. A lot of words in there, but Epic is the main one you need to know because we've lived in so many different homes. We've had dispensers, we've had pitchers, we've had water bottles, all of which I loved, but the ease of putting the filter under the sink so we just have easy access to clean filtered water has been a game changer. And these things are an investment. And they're something I will choose to always invest in because clean water brings vibrance. It brings hydration and it gets rid of the, you know, the pharmaceuticals and the viruses and the bacteria in the water. It's clean. Something I will always purchase this is a water filter. The next miscellaneous item in my home is candles. I think they add so much to the home, to even the mornings and the evenings. They bring this sense of calm, almost romance to the room that you're in. I will always purchase candles and they will be nice beeswax, clean ones without the harmful fragrances because I do have a child that's super sensitive to that. I mean, I'm even sensitive to it, I get headaches. But candles are something that, ugh, I could talk forever, it's very self-explanatory, but they add so much value to our lifestyle and our home and they just add this little spark of beauty. Okay, self-care. As a minimalist, it's very simple. I feel like that was just total repetition of words, but it's very simple. The number one thing that I use is my red light therapy device and I'm gonna list all the benefits on the screen for you guys because you always ask. Please note that I'm not a doctor and this is not medical advice. Seek your practitioner before you try anything new. But we've been using this for a few years and I feel the benefits after every single use. I love it, I see them long-term as well. And it will always be a device that we have in our home for so many reasons. And I know you guys see them right here. But it is an investment, for sure. And as a minimalist, I really prioritize health and wellness and this is a huge part of that. Number two for my self-care is my Prana mat. I can just grab it for you right here because I used it last night. This is her, she's a beautiful green color, I love this color, but you can see it has these lotuses on here which are spikes and they're very intense when you lay on them. But within like 30 seconds, you just start to feel this heat. Honestly, it's like cold heat type deal but it penetrates my muscles and my back. And through pregnancy, this has been so essential. And it completely like reduces the tension in my neck and my back and even like the top of my skull. And it makes the biggest difference right before I go to bed. All the other self-care products don't come close. I mean, the sunshine totally beats everything, but those are my main self-care products that I love. I will invest in when I need another one or if they break. Those are the essentials for me. Clothing. 
<laughs> super simple again because I'm a minimalist, but these are my favorite pieces. I have my white, what are they, New Balance? I think they're New Balance tennis shoes from Amazon, 40 bucks, but I can throw them in the wash, clean them so easily. They have a wide toe box so that my toes aren't cramped. It's apparently much better for your feet and for your knees and for your joints to have space for your toes. Second is a nice pair of pajamas. I got this pair from Hatch. It's actually a maternity pajama set and so it's very stretchy, but I'll be using it post maternity and it's just, it's like silky. And I think just a nice, you need maybe one or two sets of pajamas. I don't think you need more than that because I've been using one pair for the last five years and one of them ripped because I used it so much. And that's kind of all I need. I just want a really high quality PJ set. And this one does the trick. It feels like silk, it's amazing. In terms of clothing, I need to do a clothing declutter for you guys, but I'm pregnant. So I'm adding a lot of random stuff in there from my maternity little box that I keep. So we'll do it after I have the baby. There's a lot more of my life to happen before we do another closet declutter. Sorry to make you wait. But for clothes, I mean, I just wear the same thing over and you can look at all my videos. I pretty much wear the same thing. That is proof. <laughs> Cleaning essentials, I would say. Branch Basics, non-toxic cleaner. This is literally so simple for me. I never have to go to the store. Scratch that, that was an exaggeration. I rarely, no, it's true. I never have to go to the store to use Branch Basics because I order it online, you get the bottle of the soap, and then you fill up the spray bottle with water, you add the amount of soap, and that's it. Like, you can't get it at the store. So really, it does make my life so much easier. I only have to buy one of those concentration soap things once, maybe twice a year. So it simplifies my life. I'll be using Branch Basics until further notice. I mean, I don't really purchase anything else. I, it's pretty much that. I, I mean, I purchase big bottles of vinegar or baking soda. Clean my floor sometimes, but that's all. Why do I talk in a Southern accent? I am not Southern, I am from the Midwest. Health, ooh, this is one of my favorites because I think a vibrant life and one that's intentionally lived includes wellness. And these things are essential to us. My favorites that I'm constantly replenishing or buying are my perfect supplements. I've got the collagen, the gelatin, the mushroom immunities, the beef liver, and the beef organs. Those are my main go-tos. I purchase them often, and I really feel a difference when I'm eating clean superfoods, having them in my diet. I'm fuller for longer with my collagen and gelatin. I have more vibrant energy. My hair is thicker, and it grows faster when I'm on the beef liver or the beef organs and they're just like nutrient powerhouses. And I get made fun of a lot because we don't have a ginormous budget, but I do choose to invest in these things. And I do so because I believe that quality ingredients, quality nutrients in the body really serves me well and allows me to live a more vibrant and energetic and good sleep, all of the above life. Along with perfect supplements, I would say Organic Olivia is like a fantastic one-stop shop. You can get Again, with the southern accent, Margaret. Yeah. Um, right now, I'm using her natal nourish. My boys are using this spring allergy defense. Like, if I'm in a pinch, if I'm in a bind, if someone's digestive system isn't working correctly, if we need more probiotics or something, Organic Olivia is where I go. She has a tincture for pretty much everything, and it's herbal. And another thing I choose to invest in, even though these high quality products are expensive, they add to our life and they help us in times of need. And I will always have those things on hand. Okay, fun random category, eating out. We don't do this often, but Tate and I do get a date night once a week. Some nights we eat at home with our babysitter to save money. But when we do get to eat out, it is such a treat. And we pick the clean restaurants because I don't want to feel yucky the next day. But eating out is totally something that as a minimalist, I very much enjoy. I don't do it all the time. So when I actually get to do it, I'm like, this is so nice. Someone else is cooking for me. It makes the experience so much better because I'm not overdoing it. It's intentional quality time with my husband. It's such a special time. I, I love eating out. I probably have my parents to thank for that 
because we had almost every meal at home. We had a big family, one of six kids. But it just made the experience so much more intentional, welcoming, inviting, rare, like a celebration type thing. I love eating out. Another fun thing that we choose to invest in is finding our local farmers and buying quality meats from them as much as we can, as much as we can afford. The other day, actually, oh, this was crazy. I looked up a lady who sold local St. Louis honey and bee pollen to prepare us for the spring. And we walked into her house, you guys. It was like a scene from a movie. She had these toy little trapeze dolls strung on her ceiling, literally little trinkets and toys, like a minimalist nightmare. But I didn't see it like that because I saw her. She had these cute braids in her hair. She was probably 90 years old. You know, hi, how are you? It was so cute. But I was like, this stuff matters to you. Like she had stuff everywhere, but they were these dated, beautiful toys just everywhere. And I'm like, this, this is your, this is what you prioritize and that's okay. It's not me, but it just, it gives you a different perspective. I don't know how I got on that. We buy locally as much as we can. In some cases, it's less expensive and some it's more, but that is something that I will always choose to intentionally seek out rather than relying on quality and, you know, a bunch of other things that I'm just gonna leave there for now. I like to support local, okay? I mean, I'm sitting here thinking of like what else I invest in because surely like I wrote the list down, but it seems so, simple and dull, but when I think about it, yes, that's okay and that's normal. I was like second guessing myself for a second. Sorry, I'm just verbal processing right now, so stick with me. The things that matter to me are quality time with my loved ones, having the time and energy to be outside, to play, to be. I really enjoy my work. I mean, that's pretty much it. I like doing that stuff. I like eating good food with people and I feel like my list of things that I invest in revolves around that, living a healthy life, purchasing things with intention and living with wellness. Like that's, that's priority for me. So those are the things that I love as a minimalist and simple living enthusiast. I hope you got something out of this. If anything, I hope that you feel confident in what you choose to keep in your life, knowing that that's what matters to you, that's what you're gonna invest in and keep, and that's all I have for you. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.